is Tom Conlon. He is in goal today for all of shot. Marcus Dewhurst, Nathalie Burr, Luke Jenkins and Chris Iragoma make up a back three. Either side of them are Tyler Frost and Ryan Jones. It's two in the middle with Theo Riddington and Cameron Hargreaves. Then there's a man just behind Harvey Gandalf, Harry Gandalf this afternoon. James Harry who came up with Josh Barnes on Tuesday night who's out with concussion so he's not eligible this afternoon. Absolutely, yeah. I think they'll remember, remember that 5-1 fondly and I don't think we'll see that this afternoon, but they'll definitely be coming here for three points. Absolutely, we've kicked off here at, at the shots. All rolled back towards the midway point of the Oldham half. Gandor continuing to apply pressure as Hudson clearance is not very good. It's been picked up here by James Henry. He's got time. Gandor's available. He cuts it instead. Henry, Henry to shoot, and he's hit that one just wide of the near post. It's been a good nip, we see James Henry side from Oxford and he's showing that quality that oh shot the shots are lucky's having for. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's something of a coup for Tommy Widrington to bring in and he has already shown his quality of ability to link the midfield and attack and he did really well, used Haddy Gandor by not using him, feigned that he was going to pass out to the flank where Gandor was, but then just turned inside and suddenly he had the whole goal to aim at. Back to K. Again, Bar Gandor have everyone behind the ball. Here's on the right-hand side now, it's picked up for Ogle to try and get around Jones. He gets the ball into the near post and fond up with a good, good inside attempt at the far post. Solid touch inside the area, trying to put it goalwards, but he said it flashes wide at the far post. A big letter for all the shot there. That was, though, again, a sight. I mentioned crossing being the key, one of the key things there, yeah. because you're not going to get much through, going through the middle unless the team, one of the teams makes an error. And on that occasion, my word, it was a very threatening opportunity. That was caught at the other end here with Frost. That was a good tackle that time round. Over Gandalf's won it back. Oh, Richardson into the path of Henry. Henry shoots, Henry scores! It looked like the chance had gone, but then James Henry showing all his quality, all his experience, the calmest head in that in that penalty area. He just looked up, opened his body, curled the ball around the defender, around the goalkeeper, found that bottom corner. Here is Ogle on the right-hand side, time to put the ball in if he can. It's towards the far post, which is Bullham's header, and it's flashed wide of the far post. A massive, massive opportunity for the winger, who you wouldn't think has the ability to head, but he got up well there. Just get that when referee, where players get, get, fouled, get fouled, but clasp another part of their body when it's... It's over yeah, lower, it's it, the did upper seem, body, yeah. it did seem strange. Yeah, quick free kick down the left-hand side, right-hand side for Lundstrom. Here is Lundstrom, Bullham shot, we should say, at the near post by Duhas very well saved but he had that near post well covered the goalkeeper here is a very lively frost he's released Gandor outside the penalty centre of goal he lays off James Henry here he scores again double duck for James Henry a lovely right foot drive into the far corner he's got three goals in three games all of them here at the EBB and all of town now lead by two goal field against all the a fantastic goal that time round there, Steve. Yeah, that's the second goal that Aldershot Town wanted. Oldham trying to make the substitution that, that changes the game in their favour, but it's Tyler Frost, who's only seconds ago, moved into a set more central midfield position. He gave Josh Lundstrom not one second of respite. He won the ball, ushered the error out of Lundstrom, gave it to Gandor. The striker, you think he's going to have a shot, but no, he's got James Henry up alongside him. Superb, another superb composed finish, this time a cross goal from Henry. 2-0, and you'd say, with nearly an hour gone, Aldershot Town have gone a long way to securing three points here this afternoon. Absolutely, and what a start the season, what a start the season James Henry's having. Here's substitute Hammond, K. 
Oldershaw have doubled the advantage. It's James Henry once again. What a signing he's proving to be for Tommy Witherington. This time around, Gandalf sets him up. He drew a shot low into the, into the far corner, and it stood no chance for Hudson in the Oldham goal. That's 2-0 to Oldershaw after 58 minutes. They're looking in a bit of trouble here, though, as Ogle plays the ball into the box, and in fact, it's gone in. As soon as Oldershot looks a bit clear and dry, Older Athletic have just pulled one back. Ogle, who broke into the penalty area, shot, it looks like he shot goalwards. Marcus Chu has in the near first, had no idea where that ball was going. Whether it took a deflection or not, we don't know. But it's landed into the far corner of the net. And as soon as Oldershot looks home and dry, Older Athletic have just put some worries back into the fans here at the EVB, Steve. Yeah, Tommy Richardson quite rightly is uh, asking the referee, asking the officials why Ryan Jones wasn't awarded a free kick because Ogle was, they both went into the tackle, Ogle was very physical in getting up and perhaps holding Ryan Jones down and that allowed him to get back to his feet first, get to the ball and somehow squeeze it through a couple of players, Marcus Dewhurst into the far corner. It looks like they're on Gandor. Nevertheless, Henry's released it towards the right-hand side. Chased down on the right by Akpan. He looks to play the ball into Peltier. It's a chance! It's a goal! It's Frost! What a fantastic finish that was by Tyler Frost! He has space to the far post and absolute close range. That's an excellent cross on the debutant by Akpan. It's a stunning finish by Tyler Frost. And if Tommy Williamson had worries, he doesn't have any now. As for Oldershot, Bristol, the two goal advice. Oldershot three, Older one. Wow, what a counter-attack in a, in a flash. There was a scrappy, scrappy header, one in front of the dugout. But then, in a lightning flash, Oldershot Town had the ball in the net. Superb vision from James Henry. Really invited, demanded that Ashley Akpan make a, a lung-busting run down that right flank. He still had a lot to do. But then, superb on a pinpoint cross. And finally, Tyler Frost. He scored for Aldershot Town at the high street end. He scored away games. Until now, he'd never scored in front of the East Bank. Half-time team talk, just being 1-0 up, may have had something to do with that. Yeah, yeah. I think Oldham have come out and tried to force the issue a little bit more. And that has allowed all the shots down into more space. Here's Barham outside the penalty area with a chance to square if he can. It took a deflection of a man. Handball appeals from the East Bank. Nothing doing despite some shouts from the all shot players. The referee does not give the penalty. He gives the corner instead. They're still surrounded, the referee there. I do have to feel the defender has his arm on the ground. Is there a case, though, that it would be a penalty if his ball, if the ball hits arm that's on the ground? Yeah, I, if that's the case, I couldn't, I couldn't see which, which part of the defender's body the ball connected with. Hard to tell from here. Certainly, there was, yeah, there was no. It didn't seem to me like there was an obvious movement of hand to ball. If it, the East Bank and the Aldershot players would have had a far better view than I. But, and it, it's quite possible that the ball has hit the defender's arm. Here's Gandalf on the chase against Racklin. Racklin's not sure where Gandalf is, but eventually the striker brings it down. He's going to set up for Mark Vaughan here. Hayden Vaughan, chance saved by Mark on the keeper. And then handball penalty, surely yes. It was handball that time round, I believe, by Monty, which has led to the penalty being given. I think a few fast all the ball was going into the net, but ultimately the referee spots the handball and the, free, and the penalty's been awarded. But it's an opportunity for the captain. Theo would return to the penalty spot and it's bundled in. It wasn't the prettiest of penalties, but he celebrates wildly with the fans in the East Bank. And that is very much game, set, match, all shot. 4-1. Theo Whittington, low, driven penalty. Hudson got more than enough on it. And in the end, it ricocheted through the goalkeeper onto the... Absolutely. into the top corner of the net. But in the closing stages, it's 4-1 to the shots. Hobson plays the ball up fields, and that's the final whistle. And I think a very much relieved final whistle for all the shots out. A fantastic win, and I think another bit of that measure of revenge I mentioned earlier. They lost 5-1 last season up at Oldham. This afternoon, they've crushed out the Latics by four goals to one. A great performance in the end.